Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my finale, finally, ah, for my uh, Project Pan Roulette. This started, I had to go back to, to look at my videos. I started this project in December 15th of 2016. So I have been working on this project for a long, long time. And I'm super excited to finally come to a conclusion. And dare I say that I ended it with a bang because last time i only had nine categories left so you if you guys followed along i had 10 items every month but because of how many i had left i was only working on nine products and i was able to use up um, or hit goal on five of them so i'm very very happy i i'm not gonna say too much i'm just gonna get into it um, like i said i hit goal on five of them the first one that i'm gonna show you is for the category of a uh, single eyeshadow and I only wanted to hit pan on this and this is the Sephora matte eyeshadow in the color lazy afternoon this is just a creamy um, eyeshadow and I used it um, as a base to set my eyeshadow primer and as you guys can see that is the pan right there a good sizable pan I think I am gonna continue using this one because that's what I'm using to set my eyeshadow primer uh, because the cream shadow stick that I'm using right now um, I can't use it by itself like I had the other shadow prime shadow sticks that I was using because it does crease. So I do have to set a primer, set the primer with this, and then use my eyeshadow prime my eyeshadow stick. So very very happy. I really like this one. I do have a backup of this shade. Very very happy about this one. For the category of a product that you recently purchased, I went with a brow pencil. This is the It Brow Power uh, pencil in the color Universal Taupe. Um, I, I don't know if you guys will be able to see there's like a tiniest tiniest bit there uh, on top but um, and there's a hair it, it pulls my hairs and I mean it's tiny 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 I'll probably be able to get one brow out of it uh, but other than that the pencil oh I broke it <laughs> the pencil doesn't um, oh I really broke it I can't why can't I push it back in there <laughs> but uh, nothing um, rolls up anymore so there you go that one's done i don't like this pencil i'm very glad that i got it out of my collection the next product was for the category of a loose powder and i went with this makeup forever uh translucent hd powder the way i and you guys can see i used it all i took out the sifter um i put it back in there but i eventually took out the sifter and what i was doing is i mixed this powder with a face powder that i had in my face palette I think you guys saw it in, in the last update. There's a tan shade. I don't have it with me. There's a tan. Well, let me go get it. There's this tan shade right here that's too dark for my skin tone. So what I did, I had the, little, the smallest bit of pan showing. So what I did is I took out a chunk of the pan, as you guys can see, and I mixed it with this powder right here, and I just pressed it into this pan right here. And that's what I was using as a powder to set my face. Um, as you guys can see, I used that powder up and half of that powder was this powder right here so very very happy it made a very um smooth finishing all over powder i started using this just to set under my eyes but since i have another um loose powder in another project pan i decided to use that other powder to set under my eyes and then mix this with this shade right here so i could make an all over face powder so very very happy that i was able to finish this then for the category of something purple, I went with this facial spray. This is the Tarte Rate Forest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Um, last update, where was it? Well, you can barely see it. I was right here and uh, I used it all up. This smells kind of like a little bit of like pledge <laughs> for me to me. And as you guys can see, nothing pumps out anymore. So. This is done. I like it, but I don't think I would ever purchase this in the full size. Um, so I think it's okay. Then last but not least for the products that I finished, I think it's the product that I am most um, proud of using up. And it was for the category of products I regret buying. And for that, I have picked my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Soft and Gentle. And you guys, I finished it. Can you believe that? Because I can't. <laughs> That is what this guy looks like. It's all completely gone, finished. There's nothing left for me to apply. Um, I loved it. 
I love it and I wish I could go back and buy another one that's how much I like it I know that this was for the category of a product that I regret buying when I put it in this category I wasn't loving it I felt like it was too much like too much too intense of a highlighter uh, but the more I used it the more I learned how to work with it I and I love and I fell in love with it and I went back to my videos and I looked to see I put this in this I put this in this project in September of 2017 and so it took me how, how long is that that's nine months of using this every single day um, and I never I can honestly say that I never got tired of it I absolutely absolutely would repurchase unfortunately I can't because of one my no buy and two I have just way too many other um, highlighters that I need to go through but I really 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 like this one I feel so accomplished <laughs> it's kind of silly but um, yeah, this one's done. So I feel like I have accomplished something major here. Now for the products that were left over in this project that I didn't complete, this one is uh, for the category of product from your favorite brand. Um, I did mention in that other video that I don't really have a favorite brand, but I've been really into Kat Von D and Urban Decay, but I had panned a lot of Urban Decay um, products in the past, so I went with the Kat Von D. And this is a liquid lipstick in the color Ludwig. A very pretty neutral color um, I've used it here and there but um, I have other lipsticks in other projects like the one I'm wearing today uh, so I used it maybe I would use it maybe like twice a week uh, but nothing that I was trying to pan too intensely so um, that's this one then for the category of a, a product from a previous project pan this is a, a Smashbox Full Exposure Eyeshadow. I don't think I used this once in this project. Another product that I also didn't use was for the category of item, uh, oldest item in your collection, and I went with this um, loose eyeshadow from Bare Minerals in the color Starlight. That's my last, I only made enough progress to move from one line to the other, but um, that was a while back. I haven't really used it. And lastly, for the category of a highlighter, I was working on a highlighter from this IT Cosmetics Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc and there's not enough progress to, to see. Um, kind of, I haven't focused my brush on this area right here, but I don't think you guys can see like even a dip going. Um, it's a highlighter that I have on today. It's a highlighter that I've been having in my recent videos uh, because I finished my MAC one. I'm not wearing it today. Today I'm wearing a illuminating setting spray on my chest. And I look like very glowy. Anyway, um, so that's this one. So now that I'm finished with that MAC one, I'm gonna be working on this one. We'll see how... I'm gonna continue working it because I mean I need to use a highlighter. Well, I don't need to use a highlighter, but like I'm using a highlighter every day. Um, so I might as well use this one since there's a lot of progress in that blush and I finished that bronzer that was in here already. So maybe I can get this um, palette out by the end of the year. Maybe, maybe not, who knows, but I'm gonna keep working on this one. So uh, there you go, guys, that is my finale. I'm glad that this has come to an end. Um, a lot of you guys uh, wanted me to go ahead and start a new Project Pen Roulette. I will be starting another pro Project Pen Roulette, but honestly, I think until next year, just so I can start like from month one. You know what I mean? So I can make it easier for me to keep progress. Um, that way like January is month one, February is month two, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm not gonna be using the same categories just because I wanna mix it up a little bit. So I've been kind, kind of like thinking of different um, categories to put in that roulette. Uh, some of them might be the same as the ones in this category, but uh, whenever I think of something, I'm writing it down. Um, and hopefully I can have a good chunk. Right now I have 25 categories, which I think is good that I had I have 51 in this Project Pen Roulette. Uh, but we'll see if I add any more from here until January when I start that other project. So who knows? I'm going to take a break from rouletting, if that's a word. Um, I went ahead and I finished... Uh, 46 items in this project there was 40 uh, 51 categories like I said but I was able to complete um, 46 items 47 if you count hitting pan in that um, eyeshadow eyeshadow single eyeshadow which was my goal but but products that I actually emptied out 46 so that's pretty awesome I think um, there's no way for me to recap all the products that I used up because like a lot of them have been tossed because of 2017. So I'm not gonna 
torture myself to go through all the items so i'm gonna be leaving um the categories in the description box below a lot of you guys have asked me they have always been in my introduction video but i don't think people go back to that video so i'm just gonna go ahead and link them uh or type them out in the description box in case you're interested but yes starting maybe maybe i'll start it like at the end of december that way in january that's my first update so i'll kind of do it the same way i did this one uh, but anyway i think i'm just rambling too much thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you on my next video